So hi everybody, you're looking for an app that's going to give you just one click and you can clean up a lot of different things like you see on the screen? Then hold on, I'm going to show you what it is, what it does, how to install it. Stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. If you're looking for a new Fire Stick, go ahead and check out my description down below. A couple of different links in there. A couple of different devices. Click on the link. No extra cost to you. Small commission does come to the channel and it helps to bring you some more videos. Also remember while you're streaming, always protect yourself. Don't let your internet provider know what you're doing. Go ahead and get yourself a great VPN. The one I recommend I've been using for a while is IP Vanish VPN. Very good, low prices, connect up to multiple devices, never have an issue, and hide yourself from your internet provider and stream safely. Okay, so video here we go. So here we are. Right now you come down and it says clean leftover app install files, which means when you do things in downloader, and even though you delete it, you still have a little bit of the file left over within the file area of Downloader. So this goes and it cleans it up and it cleans up all the other leftover files too. Let's just use it as for an example. So let's go ahead and let's give it a click and let it do its thing. If you like what you're seeing, click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. This way you know when I do put up some more videos. Right here it shows you what it's cleaning up and where it has been cleaned up which is really great. It's deleting it automatically, and this is going to give you a real good, better performance of your Fire Stick every time you go and use it and start the stream. Let's go right here. Wipe app traces. Remove app traces to protect privacy and prevent usage tracking. Go ahead and give it a click. Give that a few minutes also to go ahead and do its thing. And right here, it shows you what it's cleaning up which is really good. Again, you don't have to go through each app individually. This app here is going to go ahead and do it for you. But if you like, you still could go over to the three boxes in the plus sign, also known as your apps, or you could go into settings, applications, manage applications, go ahead and scroll on down and what you do is you could clean each app. Also, if you just want to make sure that it's fully clean. Here it is now, we're down to erase IP and online traces. Erase internet files to ensure privacy and keep prying eyes from watching. Another great one to go ahead and click on. Let's give that one a click also. Give it a few seconds. It's all cleaned up. It shows you what it has taken care of for you, which is good. Unused app data removal. Eliminates leftover data from uninstalled apps to release storage. Let's go ahead. Give it a click. This is gonna run this course also and clean up everything. And again, it shows you where and what it has been doing for you. This one click app is really great. So now that you've seen what it does, let's go ahead and get the app. So here we are on the home screen of our fire stick. What you wanna do is go over to the left, magnifying glass, also known as find. Come on down to search, click on search. You can speak into your microphone on your remote if you like, or just go ahead and type it in. I'm going to type it in, T-R-A-C-E, then come on down to where it says Trace Vanish. Highlight Trace Vanish, click that enter button on your remote. Underneath apps and games, here it is, Trace Vanish. Advanced safety cleanup for Fire TV Stick. You already seen what it does, so you know it's gonna operate pretty good. Click the enter button on your remote. Let's go ahead and start to download this. You gotta come up and say, download your own it. Or you can go over to the right and click on compatible devices and you can see which devices you can go ahead and install it on. I'm going to go ahead right now, click on download your own it. Again, remember if you're new to this channel or you're returning, if you're returning, I really do appreciate you coming back. And if you're new, I also appreciate you for dropping on in. 
So remember to click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. This way you know when I put up some more videos for you. Here it says open. Click the enter button. Let's open it up. Give it a few seconds to come on in. You have to go ahead. If you like, read all through the directions here or the privacy settings that they want you to read. Then just click on a set. Now enable storage access. Go ahead, click on allow and then allow again. Give it a few seconds. It's going to come right back up in here. Files and media allow. Click it. Make sure you say all files. Click on all files. Once you have done that, click the back button. Click the back button again. And now here we are back where I showed you at the beginning what the app does and what it has. Click that home button on your remote. Everything's already cleaned up, so I cannot go through it again right now. Let's go ahead over to the right. I always like to bring a good app to the front. Let's click on the three boxes in the plus sign, also known as your apps. Anytime you download it, it's going to be at the bottom. Go over, just highlight it, the three button remote. Click it, move the front, goes right to the beginning. Click the home button on your remote. Here it is right here. I mean, if you want, you could do this every day, every couple of days, maybe once a week. All depends on you on how much you use your fire stick. You see it's running a little bit slow. Let's go ahead and click on this first before you do anything else. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. Let me know in your comments down below if you're going to use this. Or if you have something just like this, what's the name of it? I'd like to know. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for dropping on in. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.